Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, then welcome. My name is Jillian. I'm a stay at home mom, and I enjoy doing a variety of different videos here on my channel. Today's video, as you guys can see from the title, yes, it is another haul video. I love shopping, and I really enjoy sharing with you guys everything that I purchase. This time around, I went to Dollar Tree. I originally went in for only two items. And I ended up walking out with about five bags because when I walked into Dollar Tree, they were putting out all of their Christmas items already. A lot of times when you find something at Dollar Tree that you really like and you do not purchase it, the next time you go back, most likely it will be gone. So I decided to grab everything that I liked and that I thought I would need for some DIYs that I have in mind that I will be sharing with you guys also. So definitely look out for those DIYs. I will show you my first bag that only has two items in it, which are the items that I originally went to Dollar Tree for. And it is going to be first, this just little white container. I need to organize my closet and I needed one of these containers to put a few things in. And then the other thing that I went to Dollar Tree for was this little tray. I need to organize my kids cabinet that I keep all of their cups and bowls and everything it is really unorganized so I thought I would buy this so I can try to organize it a little better so those are the two items that I originally went to Dollar Tree for and I ended up walking out with a ton of things the next bag I'm going to share with you guys is this one this entire bag is just full of Christmas ornaments I bought two different colors. This one is like a really, really light gold. Some of them are solid and then some of them are glitter. And then I bought the same type of design but except in silver. So some of them are solid silver and then some of them are that glitter. And then I also bought mini ones. So I bought these mini gold ones. And then I bought some mini silver ones. A total of eight of the large ones. I bought four gold, four silver, and then one each of these little mini ones. I have a DIY that I will be making with those, so definitely look out for that. Next bag is going to be this one, and first thing I'll pull out is this little mini Christmas tree I thought was really cute. I thought this would go perfect in my office where I have my desk that my husband did just buy me not too long ago. I still plan on going back down to my office to record once I get a backdrop for that window. So I wanted to decorate it for Christmas. So I thought this mini Christmas tree on my desk would look really cute. And then I bought these ornaments to hang up on that Christmas tree. They're just gold. Some are like a matte and then some are shiny and then some are glittery. Then I bought two packs of these little pine cones, again, for a craft. I bought them in gold, and then I bought them in silver. They come with six each, which I think is a really, really great deal. Then I bought this really cute ornament. It is a white bell with two little mini pine cones, and then the greenery right here I thought was really cute, and it also has a little bit of burlap. And I thought that was really cute, so I grabbed that. Next in this bag is just going to be some flowers. I am making something for my soon-to-be niece. So these are all the flowers that I picked up. Picked up some white ones, some yellow ones, and then these like hot pink ones. I needed more of like spring and summer colors. These are the only ones that I could find, obviously, because all of like the fall and Halloween colors are out. So these are the only ones that I could find, but I definitely need more. So I'll probably end up going to like Hobby Lobby or something. And in this bag, I only have two items in this bag. I have this garland. It has 15 feet. Plan on doing something with that. Next is going to be this wooden mini wreath. I thought it would be really cute if I decorated it for Christmas and also added it on my desk downstairs in the office because I definitely want to make my desk Christmassy for when the holidays do roll around. So Christmassy, is that even a word? I think I just made up a word. Okay, next is going to be these LED lights. I bought more, they're probably in this bag down here, but I bought these LED lights to put on my mini Christmas tree. And then I believe this is the last bag that I have right here. So the first pack is for my mini Christmas tree. Then these two packs is for a DIY that I will be doing. Then I bought two ornaments. 
I bought these gold little stars. They're really, really glittery. I'm not that crazy about super glittery things and I don't know what got me to buy these, but I did. And I don't know, kind of regretting it because the glitter is everywhere, but they're so pretty. I think that's why I grabbed them. So I got it in gold and I also got it in silver, same thing, but in silver. So yeah, these are really, really pretty, but guys, if you hate glitter, you're not gonna like that. Next is going to be these little sandwich Ziploc bags in Paw Patrol. I bought my son these exact little bags, but in snack form and he loves them. So I thought I would grab a box of the ones I can make sandwiches for him in. And then the last two items, oh my God, there's glitter all in here. Last two items is going to be this by e.l.f. I've never used their blotting sheets. So I thought that would be cool to try out and it's really small so I can just throw it in my purse. And then the last thing I purchased were these nail clippers. You guys, I feel like I buy my kids nail clippers like every month. For some reason, I'm always losing their nail clippers. The last pair I bought were pretty expensive because they had like a flashlight on top of it and a magnifying glass just to make sure that I didn't like nip them. But I lost those and I'm not going to spend that much money again on new pair of clippers. So I bought these for this one. They have like a little mini one here. Not sure how well these will work out. Hopefully they will cut well. I thought it was cool that it came with an extra one so I could use the larger one and then the smaller one will be for my kids. So yeah, that is going to be the last and final item that I purchased from Dollar Tree. If you guys have ever used those nail clippers, let me know down below in the comments how they work, if it's even worth it. Okay guys, so that is going to end my Dollar Tree haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up. If you have not already, I would really love if you would join me and my YouTube family and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future DIYs that I plan on sharing with you guys with a few of the items that I purchased today. So if any of you guys have recently went to Dollar Tree, comment down below and let me know what you purchased. I always love to hear back from you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.